Merry Christmas YouTube. This is still a Junkie 7 um, This is a part of my beginner's makeup um, tutorial series thing that I'm doing. I just did a primer foundation one. This one is going, is going to be um, <laughs> bronzer and blush. And I should have had everything out right. That would have made more sense than me looking to see what I'm going to use. Okay, here we go. This is real simple. You can use any any types of bronzers. A bronzer will add depth or, and or definition to your face. Bronzers are typically used, um, they call it the three E method. You do a three on one side and you do an E on the other side. So your bronzer is going to be your forehead down to your cheeks and then along your jawline. Contouring is when you take a slightly darker shade and you put it in the hollows of your cheeks which will um, give definition to your cheeks and it will cause your actual cheeks to stick out a little more, not stick out, but <laughs> it will make your cheeks look more prominent because it will look darker right here which will give the illusion that <laughs> I'm not making any sense. It will give the illusion that your cheeks are a little more defined. <laughs> I'm not going to edit this. I'm really not. And so to find the hollows of your cheeks, like me, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can look and see there's like a little dip right here. Another way you can do it is why people go, and then you follow that line. So that is the hollows of your cheeks. Or you can smile. And then you can see a dip back here. And so that's where you're going to put the bronzer. So I am going to use, just for the sake that it is all in one palette, do not go out and buy this. And I think you cannot because this is a couple years old. This is Max Fabra Cadabra Bronze Face Kit. And the reason I pulled this out is because it has a blush, it has a highlight. Highlight colors are the colors you put above your cheekbone, like right here. So it has the blush, it has the highlight, and it has a bronzer. So we're going to take the bronzer first, and I'm going to use a powder brush. So we're going to do the 3E thing with that. So I'm going to take it here along my cheeks and then along my jawline. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So this is the bronzer. And bronzers should just add a little color to your face. It should not make you look orange or make you look um, brown like you're sunburnt or anything. It's just a subtle little bit of color just to enhance what your natural skin tone looks like. If you're looking orange or if you're looking sunburnt, um, then it is not the right color bronzer for you. So choosing a bronzer can be as difficult as finding a foundation. So that's the bronzer and as you can see it doesn't do much. If you saw me in person you would see a little something but it's kind of like I don't know is it there? Not really. You know? So it's just one of those things um, that sometimes I'll do instead of doing a whole face I'll just do foundation and bronzer. So now we're going to take the blush using the same brush and I typically I'm kind of liberal with blush. Some people just pop it on the apples of their cheeks. Me I tend to just do all over. <laughs> So I have it on a brush and I'll smile and I'll brush it along my entire cheek. This is the apples of the cheek. Some people say it's back here but when I think of an apple I think about the highest point of the cheek which is here. And then I will kind of sweep it back to my hairline and a little on the side of my eye. And this is just how I do it. Um, I don't know that there's a wrong way to do it. Um, I've heard a lot that the first rule in makeup is there are no rules in makeup. So just do what you do. If you're happy with how you look, then that's what you do. Because you have to wear your face all day however you make it up. Um, so this is how I do my blush. And the highlight, and I am just wiping my brush off on the back of my hand very lightly because I do tend to use the same brush. I also have a washcloth down here that when I do my eye makeup, I'll wipe the, um, the eye brush on the washcloth in between uses with different colors. And this is the highlight color. Highlight color is a, is a little lighter than your skin tone. It may have shimmer if you like shimmer or you don't have to have one with shimmer. You don't have to use it at all. 
and that's going to go right here on top of your cheekbone which just brings a little light to this area of your face and honestly sometimes I don't wear them because I have this coloration under here so if I'm highlighting this area it makes under here look a little darker so I'm going to put a little on the tip of the brush and just put that right above my cheekbone like right above where the blush is and so that is it for this video for contouring um, well contouring your cheeks because then there's like a whole nose contouring thing that you can do and I don't really even do all that stuff um, to make your nose look smaller and things like that and there are videos on YouTube that you can look at on how to do that um, and I guess I could show but I'm, I'm not because <laughs> I don't do that so I'm not really gonna just do it for the sake of doing it um, so that's it for this video thanks guys for watching sorry I said I'm um a lot the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come back and I don't know if I want to do my brows or just do, I think I'm going to come back and do an eye look and maybe include, no I'll do brows separate because I don't want to speed up any of these videos so that um, Miss Sydney can see what I'm doing and hear what I'm doing. So thanks guys for watching and I will see you in the next video and it is still 4th of July. I know I didn't say that in the beginning, I don't think I said that in the beginning. Um, six minutes, I'm babbling. Thanks guys for watching. Bye.